what's starting to happen is that people are realizing in this age of automation, we need to double down on human capital. We need to actually get people together, empower them to work on disruptive original ideas in kind of old school ways. And I kind of think of this as talent patterns. You know, what are the patterns of your best people? How well do you understand where the best ideas come from in your organization, in your teams? Do you risk losing those when people leave? Do you know something like, in America, 10,000 baby boomers retire every single day. That's 10,000 people with 30 or 40 years of accumulated experience, knowledge, talent, that isn't saved in a PDF or a PowerPoint. You know, it's not codified in any meaningful way. These are exactly the kinds of people, when they leave your partnership, they leave your organization, you've got to find a way of taking those knowledge and relationships and, I don't know, training machine learning algorithms with it. Because if you let that leave, you're literally letting value and intellectual property leave your organization. That's really where the next wave of productivity is going to come from, from humans, not machines. In the next 10 years, there's going to be professions and jobs and roles in your organization which have never existed before in history. We, we don't even know what we're hiring for, but you know that there's a mindset of a person who's going to be allowed to adapt to that new positional situation. I'll give you a simple example, like astronomy, right? This is being totally changed with data at the moment and uh, artificial intelligence. I mean, the, the Kepler mission was sort of a new telescope which was designed to see the universe with data. But the problem is this generated a hell of a lot of data, more than any human could handle. And interestingly, you know, just recently, uh, there was this uh, engineer at Google called Chris Chalet, and he was in the machine learning team, and he was hunting around for an application of where Google servers could transform a job. And he came across this guy called Andrew Vandenberg, who I interviewed, who was uh, at the University of Texas in Austin. And he was focused on finding exoplanets, which are, you know, essentially other planets that surround a star like our own, but not in our solar system. And he thought, well, maybe there is all this data that could be better analyzed by a machine learning algorithm. So they worked together, they trained a machine learning algorithm to essentially go through all of the data. It's kind of a job that a human astronomer used to do. And as a result of this, they managed to discover planets which had been completely missed. You see, the future of astronomy is actually computational astronomy. The future of your profession will also be algorithmic and computational and driven by data. That doesn't mean humans are not important, but it means their responsibilities, their capabilities, their mindset will also have to change. There's no doubt in the next few years that productivity is really going to be a story of automation. Both you and your clients, I'm sure, are exploring robotic process automation the use of machines and algorithms to transform what you do. But this is just the start of the story because we're going to get to the point where if something can be automated, it will be automated. But then what? What's going to separate your organization from anyone else? And that's really where human beings come in.